How do we get here? I'm sorry, <laughs> but the reactions Nanako-chan got from our audience based on the TV spot we recorded were tremendous. The agency begged me to at least make an offer, and that's why I'm asking you now. Yeah, I, I get that. You've been sitting here politely explaining every detail. But that's not a reason to allow her to be in this LMB thing. <laughs> I sincerely apologize. Do know that we greatly appreciate your cooperation. With everything that's happened lately, Konami-chan has seemed a bit glum. But with Nanako-chan around, she's finally brightened up again. Well, Nanako seems to be having fun with all this, too. If this is what she wants to do, I've got no reason to stop her. But, let's be clear on one thing. Uh, what might that be? What's your next move here? I've heard from your agency that you've lost contact with a number of people. I myself haven't been able to contact you or his friends these past few days. Depending on how things go, I may need to step in on this. Yukun and his friends are missing. If they hadn't been in touch for just a day or two, I could have brushed it off as kids being kids. But I've about reached my limit here. I don't plan on throwing my weight around and making decisions for you but my nephew and his friends could be at stake. I know this might not be what you want to hear, but I'll do what I have to. Inoue-san, um... Can we please also file a report with the police about the missing girls? I know this is right before the festival, and it might cause a stir, but we don't have the luxury of looking the other way anymore. So please, I'm begging you! Konami-chan. All right, I'll try swaying the agency on this. And if that doesn't work, I'll go to make the missing persons request myself, not you. Huh? No, you can't! If you do that... <laughs> I'm your manager, Konami-chan. It's my duty to protect you. That's why I want you to focus on your work and not get distracted by other things. Granted, you may think it's a little late for me to be saying this now. Inoue-san. I'll contact a few people I know and try my best to keep this close. They might ask you a few pointed questions, but there's nothing I can do about that. At least be prepared for it. Of course. I'm very grateful for your assistance. Thank you. Are you okay? Are you and Dad fighting? No, we're not fighting at all. Your dad has helped us out a lot. Really? Really? Your dad is a super cool guy, Nanako-san. Yeah, I love Dad, too. Well, I'm gonna go contact the agency about this. Konami-chan, feel free to start your lesson whenever you're ready. Oh, right! Thank you so much, Dojima-san. Now we can finally get the search for those girls started for real. That Inoue is not a bad man. If you explain to him how you feel, I'm sure he'll take the proper steps. Yeah, we really got through to him. I've never said things like that to anyone before. <laughs> I can't believe what I said. Well, opening up to others can be hard. Sometimes, sharing how you feel could end up hurting them. But unless you do that, nothing will change. It's all the more important if it's someone you care about. Anyway, I'm sure this isn't over by a long shot, but hang in there. I will. I have something to say, too. Um, um, I really like you, big sis. What? Really? Mm-hmm. Really? Cheer me up, Nanako-san. 
really? Then I'm happy too. All right, dial it back a little. Don't you two have a lesson to be at? Ah, you're right. Come on, Nanako-san. We really don't want to keep Coach waiting too long. Oh, and Mashita, one more thing. What is it? I looked into Ochimizu. Long story short, she's clean. Huh? It may be small, but criminals always have a tell when it comes to what they're going to do. I've checked everything about her I can. Her alibi, her post-Takara Productions history, her relationships, I found nothing. She's simply a very passionate woman. She seems to be doing everything she can for your group, contrary to her public persona. Of course, there's no use in talking about evidence when I can't even figure out what exactly is going on here. But from what I've seen, there's absolutely no suggestion of Ochimizu being involved in any of this. Thank goodness! So Mizu Chimizu isn't the culprit behind it. Like I said, I wouldn't go so far as to call this an actual case yet. But at the very least, I'm sure Ochimizu has no part in it. Ah, but then... If it's not Mizu Chimizu, then who do we look at next? Well, about that, I did find something odd. While I was checking up on Ochimizu, I took another crack at finding more details on Yuko Osada. It seems there's one more witness in that case who hasn't come forward yet. A witness? I don't have any definitive evidence on this since all I did was dig through newspapers from the time. But the testimony from the Takara Productions' first witness, the one who found the body, doesn't match up with certain other details. It's just a hunch, but I get the feeling that there's more to that case than we know. Okay, um, what should I do? Just do your job. I can't have you along helping me on this. Since I've stuck my foot in it already, this is my case. My nephew's on the line too, don't forget. Aw, uh, you sure? Come on, don't make that face. All I've done so far is look up things from old newspapers and whatnot. I don't even know if this supposed second witness really exists or not. Man, I didn't think not having my resources as a detective would be such a pain. Sorry. Well, I can't guarantee that I'll find anything more by digging further, but I'm currently having that contact of mine check the records from back then. I'll let you know if he turns up anything. Okay, then I'll keep Nanako-san company. If you do find out anything, please be sure to tell me. I really appreciate this. I'll leave her with you, Mashita. lesson hasn't started yet? Oh, Coach, I'm very sorry for the trouble you had with your payment the other day. Oh, that was nothing. I was being a baby about it. I don't mind waiting on the check a little longer. After all, you proved your fidelity to me. <laughs> <laughs> Coach, you're standing a little close. girls tomorrow is the big day at last i have nothing more to teach you two all you have to do now is pour your passion out on that stage tonight will be your final lesson treat it like the real deal aye aye sir i think i'm getting nervous oh no that's no good nanako Remember what I said? If you're nervous, the audience will pick up on it. But don't go thinking you can be completely laid back either. If you ditch all your anxiety, then your lazy heart will lead to a lazy body. Hell, just look how loose I've gotten. Oh, a damn shame it is. <laughs> That's funny, but it might be true. Uh, not the part about being loose, I mean. 
but it's okay to be a little nervous. It helps you feel like you're completely ready for anything as you get on stage. Even you, Big Sis? Especially me. Even now, just getting up on stage makes me freeze up like a statue. Konami-chan, that would present a problem. Oh, but I guess I'm better about it nowadays. I've gotten to the point where I can actually stay standing when I'm up there. Now, when I first auditioned for Takara Productions... Big Sis? What's wrong? My audition? Wait, did I do an audition? <clears throat> Konami, honey, are you all right? Oh, yo, yo! This happens sometimes. Jeez, don't worry us like that. Tomorrow's the big day, so you need to take good care of your health. Yep. <laughs> Let's do our best, Nanako-san. <laughs> well then, shall we begin? This dance lesson is ours! Okay. Here we go. Will I be able to do this like research on? Nanaka-san, if you're ever in trouble, I'll help in an instant. Go, fight, win! Here! Ta-da! Help me why you did it. Every time I'm falling apart. Mm -hmm. I can't steal, I can't, oh baby, I need your love. 
pause right there. I saw potential in you. You are totally on fire right now. I'm starting to look forward to the show. But I still can't help but be nervous. I hope people come to see us. I'd expect quite a crowd. How are the numbers looking, Minoru? It's a sold out show, fortunately. Almost every seat in the stadium's main stage should be packed. The size of the audience will dwarf any of Kanamin Kitchen's previous performances. A full stadium? Oh man, oh man. <laughs> Just imagine that! All those people waiting to see you two! You'll really show the crowd what a bond looks like. You'll become one with the audience, and your performance will be legendary in the idol world! We're going to be legends? Wow! <laughs> that would be something to see. It's very difficult to put on such a show that you truly become one with the audience to convey how you feel through song and dance and having people understand you. That's no mean feat. It isn't easy. Minoru, honey, will you stop throwing a wet blanket over us when we're trying to get hyped up here? I'm sure these girls can do it. I taught them everything they know, after all. Oh, sorry about that. But since Nanako-chan is performing too, I thought raising the bar too high might make her nervous. Hmm. This is why you suits always get in our way. You don't have any vision. That's right. It's not easy. Even Yuko-san... Huh? Huh? What did I just... Ah! Konami, are you all right? Konami-chan. Come on, snap out of it. Are you okay, Big Sis? Don't shake her. Lay her on her back. Because it wouldn't reach anyone. Or they wouldn't understand if it did. No matter how much she wanted to express herself. That's why you go, son. Where am... Uh... Oh, yeah, I... Are you awake, Big Sis? Oh, Nanaka-san. I'm sorry. I guess I collapsed. You passed out during practice, so we had you transported back home. No, there's no need to get up. You're free to take some time to rest. We had a doctor look at you. The good news is he says it's probably just exhaustion. Yikes! I'm so sorry. This is so embarrassing. Well, you have been working non-stop lately. You should at least take today off and recover. <sighs> That's so nice of you. Oh, also, I got approval from the executives about the situation with the other girls. I'll go talk to the police tomorrow. For real? I'm surprised they didn't put up more of a fuss. It wasn't easy, mind you. Yukun and his friends are involved too, so I used that and what Dojima-san told me to bolster the case. I've been in this industry for quite some time, you know. I like to think I know a trick or two to fight my battles by now. Yikes! Inoue-san, uh... Still, since that's in motion, there's nothing we can do about their part in the festival anymore. It wouldn't be right to keep their names on the program when we have a formal search for them underway. Oh, right. They won't be able to appear at LMB, huh? I know how much they were putting on the line for this festival, too. That's why I tried to hold out so long, to avoid this at all costs. In no way, son. But don't let it bother you. I realized something from what you said to me, Konami-chan. Even if it turned out to be nothing serious and those girls ended up resenting me, I should have prioritized their safety to begin with. Oh, that guilt is like a knife to the gut. <laughs> Stop that. 
I just told you that this was my fault. Well then, I'd better get going. I need to get up early tomorrow, so I'm gonna have Nanako-chan stay with one of the agency ladies. Your job for tonight is to get plenty of rest, and be back to your chipper self when I come to get you tomorrow morning. Oh, thank you. Okay by yourself? Oh, Nanako-san. I'll be okay. I'm a grown woman compared to you. <laughs> Aw, that's no fair. I'm a big girl, too. That's true. You really have kept me going, Nanako-san. So, will you dance with me again tomorrow? Mm-hmm. I'll dance with you. Alrighty, then you're on. I just have to get better by tomorrow. You just have to. <laughs> <laughs> See you tomorrow, Nanako-san. Bye-bye, Big Sis. All alone again. This room feels so much bigger now. I wonder if it's because Nanako-san's been staying over with me. Huh? My diary? When did I take that out? Oh, this isn't good. My sleepiness is coming back with a vengeance. I just have to sleep for now. Forget everything and stay as the you everyone wants to see. Then you can remain happy. It's for your own good. Something smells good. Oh, you're up! How are you feeling? Are you fevery? Wow, I'm seeing a vision of Nanako-san. Am I still dreaming? <laughs> but you're awake! I'm here right now! Huh? Huh? Nanako-san! I thought you left with Inoue-san! That was yesterday, though. Is it... the next day already? Yeah, must be. Uh, but Nanako-san, how did you get here? You weren't picking up the phone, so I came here with Inoue-san. He said you should eat that. Oh, your tummy grumbled. It's saying that it's hungry. That's so thoughtful. I slept without eating anything last night, so my stomach is raging at me. Anyway, I just have to eat. <coughs> oh, uh, sorry to dig in alone like this. Have you eaten, Nanako-san? Yeah, the agency lady made me breakfast. <coughs> That's... that's good. Wait, so... where's Inoue-san? He unlocked the front door and then said he'd be at the car. He said, come down when you're ready to go. Yikes! Then I'd better hurry. I just have to wolf this down and get going. I... I'm no... I don't know... Huh? Who's calling me now, of all times? Hello? It's me. 
Dojima-san! Ah! What's got you so worked up? Do you have something to be ashamed of? No, of course not. I'm with Nanako-san right now, so... Oh, that's right. Sorry, but can you tell Nanako to step away for a moment? It's probably hard for you to say what you need to when she's around. Give me one second. Nanako-san? Um... It's Dad, right? I'll go down to the car. Huh? But don't you feel lonely? Dad's always like that. It's okay, Big Sis. I know my dad loves me. I... Okay. I'll be waiting at the car. Mashta, are you there? Oh, yes. Sorry. So, what about Nanako? Um, she said she'd wait at the car. She volunteered herself. Ah, well, don't worry about her. She'll be fine. But, but... It's all right. She's my family. I love her, and she knows it. It may not look like it sometimes, but we do share a strong bond. You love her, and she knows it. Ugh! Mashta, what's wrong? Oh, uh, I'm fine. So, how can I help you? I'm actually in a little bit of a hurry. All right, I'll make this quick. Those mass lethargy syndrome patients seem to have started recovering. Really? There are still more patients coming in, but a number of them are waking up now. This just happened yesterday and today, but I'm told that some have already been released from the hospital. So, what will you do now, Dojima-san? I plan on going to talk to them this afternoon. Maybe one of them can tell me something. Okay, I'll be with Nanako-san at the festival today, but I'll contact you as soon as it's over. I'll let you know if I find anything out. Tell Nanako good luck for me. Same goes to you too. Thanks! I'll make sure to tell her. Thanks. See ya. Huh. So that's what bonds are like. All right, hey, I need you to frame that this up. Goes? Lighting's bad here. Okay, we'll then, let's move on. Next up is the part with yep. Konami yep. Kitchen. Uh, can you handle this? Mojda-san? Kojima-san? No. Not me. Not my back. No. Right. no. What are you doing? Hey, what you don't care about this. Then go home, you moron. You can't do it. Then pull back a little bit, all right? I understand. I'm sorry. Can you help me out of place for this? Yes. Understood. Why are you talking to Thank you for everything. Don't you want to do it? I'll figure something out. Closing daylight here, people. I don't even know what this is. Oh, that might probably work. Oh, you got it. Not that way. Come back here. I've never been involved in this. Great. We'll have you two come in side by side, just like that, and stop on this mark. After that, the MC will make his entrance. Let's see, as for the reason why Konami Kitchen and Kujikawa-san are off the roster, I'm supposed to give some pretext and not reveal the actual reason? Got it. I wasn't gonna go off script anyway. We have a specific block for you to fill, so don't leave the stage even after the song is done. When the MC comes in and takes over, we'll give the sign then for you to go off stage. It seems there's one more witness in that case who hasn't come forward yet. A witness? Big sis? Ah, I'm here! The man said we should stay on the stage even after we finish dancing. Oh, right. Got it. And that'll be it for Konamine Kitchen's part. The first half of the show ends there. There'll be a 10-minute intermission while the broadcast ads play. Anyone whose spot is over should be on standby in the dressing room. 
All right, okay. thanks everyone. Oh, that is nice. all for oh, now. Good. Good. Yeah, okay, we good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The stuff we got was great. Thank you. Thanks. Great job. Hey, good job. Looking good, you two. Nice to see you. Really yeah. 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 I can handle it. Oh, good. I'll be counting on you. You still have some time, so why don't we all go back to the dressing room? Love Meets Bonds is about to start. Tomamine, Tomamine, Sumamine, Nozamine, even Rise Senpai and her friends haven't come back yet. I'm going to have to sing a song about Bonds all by myself. Hear something? Big sis? What's wrong? Oh, uh, be right there. Inoue-san's asleep. Do you think he's okay? It's fine. He's been busy too, so I'm sure he's just tired. <sighs> Whoops. <laughs> Shame on me, huh? Sorry, I've been working several nights straight. Nuh-uh. It's okay. Dad falls asleep on the sofa all the time. Dojima-san too? <laughs> he does seem like a busy man. By the way, looks like the public responded well to your appearance in that publicity shoot. Some people are even calling it a duet between a goddess and an angel. <laughs> Sounds about right. I wouldn't call myself a goddess, but Nanoko-san is definitely cute. I'm cute? <laughs> I think you're cute too, big sis. Uh, I don't know about that. Honestly, I've got no confidence in myself anymore. <laughs> Mind you, there'll always be people to complain about Kanamine Kitchen's set getting cancelled, or about Risei-chan. But don't let the haters get to you. Just let yourself go and show the crowd who you truly are, and I'm sure everyone will understand. Who I truly am. Oh, sorry, I have to step out for a moment. Without Mizo Chimizu around, all the paperwork has been directed my way. Konami-chan, Nanako-chan, you two should stay on standby here. Huh? Oh, crud, I've completely forgotten. Now, what was the pin Mizo Chimizu used again? One, three, two, four. Huh? Mizu Chimizu's number, right? It's one, three, two, four. I'd never forget that because there's a meaning behind it. You're right. It's one, three, two, four. But how did you know, Konami-chan? I heard that Mizu Chimizu decided on that passcode privately with a girl she used to manage. Huh? I... How did I just... Sorry, sorry, I shouldn't have spooked you like that before your performance. I probably told you about it sometime, or maybe you heard it from Mizu Chimizu herself. In any case, thank you. I'll be on my way. Are you okay, Big Sis? The numbers just popped into my head. Why? Oh, your bag fell over. Nanoko-san? No, 
I'm sorry. I shouldn't have tried to touch your stuff. Oh, that's not it. I just... It wasn't your fault at all, Nanako-san. That's okay. I'm sorry, Big Sis. Oh, jeez. What am I doing? <sighs> okay, let's take a break. I brought playing cards. Let's go over there and play Old Maid. Old Maid? Okay. It's all right. She's my family. I love her and she knows it. It may not look like it sometimes, but we do share a strong bond. To convey how you feel through song and dance and having people understand you. That's no mean feat. Bonds aren't easy. Hello again, you two. I've taken care of my business. Looks like all that's left is to wait for your turn on stage. Welcome back, Inoue-san. You don't look so well, Konami-chan. Are you okay? Uh, I'm alright. It's not like I'm sick or anything. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. Dojima-san called earlier. He did? I guess his call didn't get through to your cell phone. He seemed like he wanted to talk to you if you had time, so I told him that you'd be able to after your performance. Either way, we'll be going to the police about the missing girls once this is over. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. Uh, one moment, please. Mashita-san, Dojima-san, it's time. Please be on standby. Oh, right! Well then, have fun, you two. Go get them! I gotta clear my head for now. The audience is waiting. Everyone is here to see us. I'm not alone. This is the Love Meets Bonds Fest, so I gotta do whatever I can to show my bond to them. All right! Nanako-san, it's time for us to ride into battle! Mm -hmm. Let's ride! Huh? What's wrong, Big Sis? I thought I heard something. Konami-chan, are you sure you're okay? You're not feeling ill again, are you? Oh, not at all. It's nothing. I'm fine. All right. Time to go, then. Don't get too nervous out there. Will do! are heating up! Is everyone about ready to jump around and make some noise? All right then, why don't we dive right into our star performance? Whoa, sounds like you're into that idea. Then should I call them out right now? Presenting our special one night only duo, here comes Kana Koko! Here they are, our lovely ladies. Oh, I get it. Your duo's called Kanakoko because you're Kanamine and Nanako. Yep, that's exactly it. But isn't there an extra ko in there? What's with that? Um, the last ko is from my name. Of course, that's exactly what I was thinking just now. 
Though now I want to ask what the co in the middle is for, but Nana Chan's so cute that I just don't care. <laughs> Let's see, between the two of you, you average out to be 11 and a half years old? So young, that's less than a third of my age. Huh? That's because of Nanako san here. It's kind of cheating in a way. I'm cheating? <laughs> <laughs> of course you are. Don't worry, Nana chan. Everything's A OK -okay with you. So, tell us, Nana chan, did you get any sleep last night? Mm hmm. Dad wasn't there snoring in the next room, so I slept great. <laughs> Man, your poor dad probably worked so hard. Try not to bag on him too much, okay? So, do you still need your dad to take you to the bathroom at night? <laughs> All right, we're getting into some thorny territory, so I'll stop right there. <laughs> now, let's hear from you, Kanamine. Good evening. Can I just say how shocked I was when I heard that Konami Kitchens Act was canceled? And Reset's not with us this evening either. Is there anything to that rumor about mass food poisoning at Takura Productions? Oh, yes. Well, I'm sure that Reset and your girls are watching and cheering for you wherever they are. All right, it's time to see you dance. Kasan, this is it. Are you okay? You're not nervous or anything? Uh, nope. <laughs> Don't worry. There are tons of people in the audience, but they're all here to see us. We had lots of practice, so if you dance your best, I'm sure they'll love it. Okay. All eyes in the stadium are on you. Hey, DJ, play that music! Are you ready? I'll go out and dance with a smile. I'll be rooting for you. Good luck.
Sad Economy Kitchen couldn't be here tonight. But since it gave us a chance to see this kid's amazing moves, I'd say it's a fair trade. What do you folks think? Will Konami switch over to Kana Coco before the public gets bored of Konami Kitchen? Huh? Whoa! Lighten up there! It was just a joke! With all these Konami fans here today at LMB, I better watch what I say. Don't want to end up with a knife in my back when I leave, right? <laughs> Still in all, I'm glad that at least you didn't get food poisoning, Konami. If you'd gotten sick, then Nanachan would have been the only one left to perform. No, these people don't care. We've still got the debut of Konami's brand new song coming up at the end of the festival, folks. And I know you're all looking forward to that. From all I've heard, it's a scorch. They don't song care who it is. It doesn't so matter if it's Kanamin Kitchen or me or even Yuko-san. I have no bonds. That's why Yuko-san. The pressure from everyone is crushing me. No one really knows me. I don't have any bonds with anyone. I don't want to sing. I have no right to sing that song. It hurts so much. I feel like I'm suffocating. I want to disappear. Who, who's there? I'm too weak even to stand. I know, and I want my love to be born. She was in my school, and her body was in my school. I can't stand it. I said it's expectation. She ended it all. I want a bond. Stop it. Well, that was weird. <laughs> uh, we seem to have gone off script, folks. Yuko-san? I never met Yuko-san. There's no way I would. So how? <laughs> Don't 
Ujima-san. Hello? Mashta, where are you right now? Huh? The... the LMB Stadium. I'm sorry, but there's something I need to check with you on. Do you have some time? Yes. I talked to the patients who recovered from that mass lethargy syndrome. It seems the rumor was true. <gasps> you mean... about the curse? No, not that one. Though, I can't entirely deny that part anymore either. Huh? What do you mean? All of their testimonies are consistent, even when I spoke to them individually. When I was watching the video on the site, these ribbon things suddenly appeared and pulled me in. I was in a dark place with tons of people, and I remember dancing to this eerie-sounding song. Someone came in, and I thought that I shouldn't be there anymore. That's when I woke up at the hospital. They all said something like that. So what I saw, it really was... It matches your testimony. I thought this might be some kind of mass hypnosis, and I had a specialist look into the video. But not even the experts can find anything unusual about it. No. One other thing. All the patients I interviewed told me something strange. It was about the silhouette on that video they saw at midnight. The silhouette? They all said that silhouette looked to them like Konami Mashta. That's impossible! Dojima-san, what are you saying? I was surprised at first, too. But there was no inconsistency in their stories, and I'm sorry. But I looked into your relationship with Yuko Asada. Yuko-san? But, but I didn't have one! I mean, we were both with Takara Production, so I know her name, but... But still, I made my debut years after Yuko-san passed on. I read the case file. Huh? I asked that contact of mine for it. According to the file, there was an audition for new talents going on that day. My hunch was right. The witness Takara Productions brought out, who supposedly found the body, was a fake. A... a fake? They were a decoy for the media, since the one who really found the body was a minor. A... Uh, minor? It was a girl, ten years old at the time, who'd come to audition. Her name was Konami Mashta. No, that's not true. I mean, I never even met Yuko-san. You have to remember, Mashta. When you went to audition that day, you just happened to come across Osada, the idol you looked up to. And followed her. And so you witnessed Asada's death, making you the first one on the scene. Like I keep saying, that's impossible. I don't know Yuko-san. No, I have no doubt that Yuko Asada was your reason for auditioning. It was mentioned in the application submitted to Takara Productions. It said that back then you felt isolated, and you drew the strength to go on from Yuko Asada's songs. That can't be. I'm sorry, but it's true. You even agreed to police questioning the next day. But seeing Osada dead up close must have been too much of a strain. You went into shock during the questioning and had to be taken to the hospital. Please? The hospital? That's a lie! I mean, I don't remember! Yeah, you don't remember anything. The shock of that incident sealed all those memories away inside of you. Huh? That's impossible! Where's the proof? I never once met Yuko-san. I just need to know one last thing. That diary you always keep close at hand. Whose is it? The diary? It can't be! I found something out asking around people involved with Takara Productions. Though everyone remembered seeing Osada with it frequently, there was one thing no one could find in her belongings. Osada was never quick to make friends with the people around her. I think that's why the police seem to have overlooked this one thing during their investigation. No. No, you're wrong! That's my diary! It's not Yuko-san's! I just need an answer, Mashta. Nothing is going to happen to you because of what happened back then. I'm just now arriving at the stadium. I'll be right there, so stay put. The... 
That's just impossible. Come on, Dojima-san. This has to be some kind of misunderstanding. <laughs> What's going on? My diary. This isn't Yuko-san's. It's mine. We're pushing four minutes here. If old perverts weren't our promoter. Huh? Huh? <laughs> that is so weird. I totally can't remember. <laughs> but like, this is my diary. <laughs> There's no way I wouldn't know the code to the lock. <laughs> this is stupid. <laughs> I'll get it soon. Huh? <laughs> Mizo Chimizu is always scolding me for things like this. That's why I write in it every day. You're right, <gasps> it's 1324, but how did you know, Konami chan? I heard that Mizo Chimizu decided on that passcode privately with a girl she used to manage. No! It's not. This isn't mine. I thought this diary was. Can't see. Damn it. What the hell? 